Okay. All right, you tell me one. You are clear to go, sir. Let's go! We're gonna go fast right from the get go. So you got more speed. You got it. More speed. Yeah, you said go through the trees, right? See how many we can plow through. <laughs> yeah. They're small trees. <laughs> beat me welcome back to the channel guys today we are at a place that we visited about three years ago and that's the police fleet expo this year police fleet expo is in louisiana at the nola motorsports park and i can tell you this is a pretty awesome place if you love cars and if you love police cars well then this is a pretty awesome week at the DriveX event, there are four different locations. One right behind me, as you can see as the vehicle goes by, this is the off-road location where you can test off-road vehicles out on a track, dirt road, there's hills, different things and obstacles you can go through. You know, you can slip and you can slide through some mud and you really get the feel of driving these vehicles off-road. Now, across the park, you have these vehicles screeching and scratching. <laughs> That is the drive course where you're on pavement like this and you're really pushing those vehicles to the max. You're doing serpentines and different maneuvers that you might do in police work. And that's to show off the capabilities of all these rides. Then right smack in the middle, you have vendors. These are emergency equipment vendors. They're out here with push bumpers, emergency lights, all kinds of different things for police vehicles, showcasing what they have. And finally, you have the Bridgestone Slick Track in the back. It's the first time that they have this here, or at least I get to experience. I'm sure they had it in other years, but it's the first time that I'm gonna get to experience this track back here, and I'm taking you guys with me. So with that being said, what do you say we jump in some rides? that we're gonna be driving today are the main players in the law enforcement game. You have Dodge, you have GM, and then you have Ford here as well. So they have their vehicles that are geared towards police work. This is the first year that I actually see full EV vehicles out here where you can actually drive. Maybe we'll take advantage of that. I see a EV Mustang out there, but you can't let go of the tried and true. Behind me, Dodge brought out a Hellcat just to flex on him. I see you, Dodge. I see you. No, oh, Greg. No. So we're on the road track here and we're driving the Mustang Mach E, correct? Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. Nick. It's nice right. meeting you, Nick. Last time I was out here, uh, we were actually in Savannah and we drove the Ford Hybrid, the Explorer mm -hmm. Hybrid out there on the course, and it handled well. And then fast forward a couple years and now there's an all electric vehicle out here. Well, it's the all electric Mustang Mach E. Uh, it is a special service vehicle as it's listed right now with Ford. Uh, it drives pretty much just like other vehicles with the exception of the fact that you don't have engine noises as you're running down the road for that sensory information. Uh, that at first is a little bit disconcerting to a driver, but as soon as you get used to it, it, it it's and it's real easy to get used to it. Yep. It's a wonderful driving experience. So is it, are these vehicles, they're out and about right now at this point? Yes, they are selling these vehicles out and they are out and about on the roads. Let's Very see good. how it runs today. Let's see how it runs. So the first section that we got here is a zero to 60. Okay. And once you get to 60 miles an hour, hold it at that speed. Okay. Uh, when we get to this set of signs up there, we'll apply the brakes hard and aggressively, bringing it down to a stop. All yeah. right, you tell me one. You are clear to go, sir. Let's go! Oh yeah. This thing got some pickup. Level off at 60. Pardon? Here we go. Great. Good. Okay, go ahead and roll on out. I think the brakes work. As we go out here, get to the right side of the road. Got it. Line up for the serpentine. As you come through the serpentine, give yourself enough room that the back tire will clear around the obstacle. Be nice and smooth with the controls. You 
you go. It's like I've done this before. Oh, yeah. Get out here to the left, stay on the left. Our acceleration, right hand, 90 degree turn coming up. Keep the eyes up. Look for your apex brake here, brake heavy. Turn down to the right side to the apex. Let it drift slightly to the left, come back across to the right, setting up for your left hander. Turn down to the left, down to the inside edge. This is actually a 190 degree right hand corner. Oh so boy. Brake long and straight, stay at the outside edge. Outside edge, you got it. Outside, outside, through that. Oh, Gradually there he is again. Side. <laughs> Two for two on that one. Power out to the left. Powering out to the left. Go through the gates. Going Series of S's coming up. Here we go. Keep your eyes up, way down the road in front of you. Nice and smooth, nice good balance, front to rear. How many miles did a gallon this thing get? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> good question. <laughs> Look for this next one, it goes a little blind on you, right there. Oh, there it is again! Oh, two for two! But he gets it through. <laughs> would you say this would be used more for admin or out on patrol, everyday working? Currently, right now, I would, would guess be used more for admin or specialty uh, units, such as detectives or stuff like that. Uh, it's considered a special service vehicle at this point. It is not pursuit rated. Oh, okay. So... Although they are looking to change that at some point in the future. I know some detectives that would love to drive this thing. Yeah, people are just really excited about it, and you can tell by the lines waiting to get behind the wheel of it. It's created a lot of uh, interest. Yeah, so if you're in the line waiting and you see me driving around with all these cameras, please, sorry, don't, <laughs> don't give me those looks. I saw them as I was walking by. We had the speed pass. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. you, sir, for coming out. All right, guys. We're done with this one. So I don't know if you can see it back there, but that is, hold on, let me get myself in focus. That is a water truck. That's because this track here, what they're doing is they're flooding the course, and then they're running the vehicles. You can hear the engines roaring in the background. They're running them pretty hard, so you can get a feel for the tires. This is something new to Police Fleet Expo that I have never experienced. It might have been here last year. I don't know, it wasn't here last year. But this is definitely something new, and we're gonna go try it out. All right, get in on the Firestone. Com tire comparison track, what's the, what's the name of this thing? So here? we're doing the Firestone Pursuit experience. Ooh. So we've got Firestone Pursuit, we're comparing it against the Goodyear Eagle RSA, another Pursuit tire. Uh, we're checking out the differences between them. We've got autocross track, we're gonna rip around, go fast, and see where those differences in the tires are. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's my speed, fast, baby! <laughs> and I see that it's wet out here, ain't raining. What are we doing? Yeah, so we're running a wet track. Makes it a little easier on the cars and tires don't have to change things out quite as often, but also the wet conditions are a little trickier to drive in. Oh to make it a little bit more challenging They're for you. They're testing me, guys. They're yeah. testing me. All right, so what do I got to do so here? We're going to go fast right from the get-go. Okay. Uh, green cones are out there to kind of help you position the car, put it up against them. You're on the right driving line for doing some quick laps. All right. Have fun. Hit it. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Keep going, more speed, you got it. More speed, we just saw More speed, right, on the brake, yeah. Look at around the corner there, trying to keep the eyes. Almost one corner ahead, looking at that yep. next one. There you go, that's a good exit off that corner. Ripping it again. All right, here we go. Going, getting some brake in here, eyes at that next left hander. Got it. So we're checking out things like how the car turns into the corner on the yep. tire, comparing um, how when you leave the corner, how much grip you have in the front and the rear. Get through there. Oh yeah. Nice job. And then we're in. All right, we're home. Nicely done. Well, thank you for that. Of course. Let me get your name. I'm Brian. Brian. Nice to meet you now nice that we're done. <laughs> I love it. Real quick, I got a shout out. 21 pineapples. I'm getting comments all uh, day long. People stop me about my shirt. So if you guys are digging the threads, you can go to 21 pineapples on Instagram and they have this shirt here where you can pick it up. A lot of comments on the shirt. Excellent. Got our hats here. What do you guys think? Can you sign these guys? Of course. All right, here we go. Following this man. All right, thank you. You're driving, right? Yes, sir. Cool. 
All right, there it is. Oh, oh look who's in there. How'd she drive? I don't know, I haven't driven her yet. Oh, you haven't driven it? No? Shannon has. Here, <laughs> yes. there's one for you too. Oh. You wanna get in? Where are you guys from? Where are you from? I'm from Arapahoe County, Colorado. All right, and you guys enjoying the show? We are, it's oh, great. Yes. All right, so yeah. uh, I'll let you guys do your thing. I'm going to jump in there after you guys. Sounds I was going to say, good. do you want a back passenger seat from it? I'm driving, buddy. <laughs> I can, you can drive <laughs> after. Move my mic back. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. All right, see you guys when you get back. Yeah. Later. Okay, we're going in this one. How you doing, Nick? George. George, nice to meet you. Do you do a... Uh, Videos on YouTube? I do videos on I, I might have seen you there. Might have. You might know me. I, mean, I think it was with the Florida Highway Patrol. That's correct. That's yeah. exactly what we just did one with them. And we did their Dodge Challenger. It was the last one I just did. And yeah. before that was the Charger. Right, right. I almost want to say I saw the Challenger. Today we're in. We're recording, by the way. Okay. But All right. We're in, <laughs> we're in the Chevy Silverado. Z71. Z71. And I saw there was a little giddy up here. I don't know. What you're yeah, I was just saying, if you want to open it up a little bit on the straightaway, then okay. we're going to come up to a 90, so you want to definitely slow down before hitting that. You got it. Unless you want to end up in the trees. And no, 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 no. I don't think my boss would like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, listen to her growl. And you said go through the trees, right? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> we'll see how many we can plow through. <laughs> They're small trees. We're at the end of the day. They don't need to drive this one anymore. So uh, we spoke a little bit off camera and you were telling me that you were with California Highway Patrol recently, right? Or just retired a couple years ago, yeah? I retired about three years ago and uh, and I got hooked up with GM here. Today's my first day. Oh, and you made, and you made it to Hollywood, baby. Well, there you go. You're already in Hollywood. <laughs> this is the off-road course? This is the off-road course, Chevy Silverado Z71. Mm -hmm. It's basically your uh, PPV vehicle. Um, Still, but it's off-road. Yeah, capable. Four-wheel drive. Three. It is four-wheel drive. It's in two-wheel drive right now, and I believe we got the traction control off. So once we get up over this little slow hump, uh huh, around the track there, you can slide it around a little bit if you like. Ooh, a little slip and slide action. Yeah, 385 horses and uh, 383 pounds of torque. Yeah. It's always a good matchup, and you can match the torque with the horsepower, right? Yeah. And I can see where this can come in handy in some jurisdictions out there where you got to go off road. Absolutely. Well, even back home when we're when we're uh, towing boats and whatnot, we need that four wheel drive, and our guys are uh, outfitted with some pickup trucks like this one. Uh huh. So it's good stuff. So this is where I can slide around. You can open it up a little bit. Slippy slidey, slippy slidey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I feel it. All right. I'm actually impressed with how this truck handles because. Uh, the rear end doesn't, even though the traction controls off, it doesn't really break loose to front end. Yeah, good. I can feel it. Definitely gripping this thing. It's easy to bring back the center, you know. Yep. Anybody take it off the course today? You could, you could tell me. I'm not going to tell anybody. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. <laughs> We've still got plenty of time left in the day. <laughs> we had some pretty good bumps earlier in that first ditch, but uh, you handled that well. So. Oh, all right. You hear that, guys? I know what I'm doing, a little bit. Well, I shouldn't speak, but we're not done with the course yet. So how many years you do at uh, California Highway Patrol? Uh, 22 in six months. Nice. All right, you miss it? You know, every now and then I do. Yeah? All right. But then I don't. Yeah, well now you're out here living the dream, getting driven around by guys on YouTube. Coming from a Miami guy who cannot pit, how many pits do you have under your belt? Actually, I, I don't have any. I have a lot of pursuits, but no pits. A lot of pursuits, though. A lot of pursuits. I'll take that. Pit, pitting somebody, you have to be at 35 and below. That's true. You're not going to get that on the highway. Not like Arkansas, where you can pit at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so if you plan on running from the police in Arkansas, watch out. <laughs> well, thanks for the ride. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. And thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. All right. It is the end of the day. The vendors are packing up. Everyone's bringing their cars home. We had a great day out here. We got to go on a dirt road where we tested out that Chevy Silverado. Then we went over to the skid pan to test out some tires from Firestone. And then we were on the road track with Ford checking out their Mustang. Great time for day one. So stay tuned for day two where we're going to be checking out the showroom floor. We're bringing out 
all the new police technology and you give you guys a first-hand look at exclusive content that can only be seen by law enforcement and the Nat Squad.